Hi everybody, uh, let's do a new FreeCAD video. Uh, today I'm going to show you two of the basic BIM tools of FreeCAD, which are the wall and the structure tool. And uh, these two are pretty good examples to start with because uh, they illustrate well how all the BIM tools of, of FreeCAD work uh, because they all share a lot between them. So now I opened FreeCAD, I created a new document and I switched to the Arch Workbench. And uh, I already set my grid here to 10 centimeters. You can change uh, the grid setting here. Uh, so um, walls and structure, which, has the, which are those two tools here, uh, they are basically they can be based on several other kinds of objects. Um, you can just use any of them uh, directly. Just click. You have nothing selected. You click the wall button and you click a start point and an end point. And then, or inside the creation tool, while you are drawing, you can change those parameters here. Like, for example, making it Fifty centimeters wide, but you can also change those settings after the wall has been created. Like uh, all those properties are here when you select the object, you select the wall, and you can change, for example, is its width here from twenty to let's say thirty centimeters. Uh, same for its height of, of anything. Uh, inside the wall, you see that it is based on a line that I drew. If I use the, the wall tool directly, uh, it will draw a line um, beneath it, uh, which is actually, in this case, a sketch. But you can also draw the line yourself before. Like, I can take the line tool, it, this is the, the, draw, the draft line tool, but I could do that with a sketch as well. Uh, I could draw a line here and then with that line selected press the wall tool which will give exactly the same result both of these are based on a line it doesn't matter what kind of object uh, this line is as long as it is recognized as, as a line um, it could even be a shape that you import from, for example, a DXF file. Um, so you could really import lines from something else and start building walls. Uh, walls can also be based on polylines, which are called wires in FreeCAD. And again, you select it, you press the wall button, and you have a um, wall based on it. All this is obviously still um, editable. So if I take my the wall I just created now, I hide it and I show its line beneath it and I edit the line. Obviously my wall has adapted as well, they're, they're linked. Um, you can also base wall on a face. So I could draw a face, any shape, and close, and base my wall on that, on that face. Then the wall will be simply extruded and there is no uh, thickness anymore. Uh, now, this has been based on a draft wire. The draft wire can be a face or not, uh, or as like all the closed draft objects. So you could select this object and change its make face property to false. And now it's not a face anymore. And the wall is just using it as a polyline instead of a face. Uh, so you have several modes of objects to work with uh, like that. The um, structure tool works exactly the same way. It depends on it's based on a two D object, and it depends on the object uh, to build its, its shape. For example, if I do a rectangle, I press 
the structure button, it will be extruded simply. The structure object cannot do like the wall, uh, like uh, given a thickness. Um, so those are two different tools. One is made to use lines, and the other one is made to use closed shapes. Um, now, actually, all all the all the, the arc objects work like that. You can always uh, give them another shape, and they build their own shape on top of that other shape that you start with. All those objects can also be built on an already solid shape. For example, I could go in the part workbench and draw a cube, which would be very small because it's by default a millimeter. But let's say it has one meter by one meter by one meter. Then this cube I could make, I will go back to my artwork bench, and this cube I could make a wall out of it, simply by selecting it and pressing the wall button. And you see it's now a wall, but it contains my cube. And uh, the property of my cube are still there. I can still change them like 200. And of course, my wall that's built on it <coughs> will adapt. All this is, uh, all those uh, arc objects uh, can be included one inside the other. So I could take, for example, my wall here, move it to there. And then I would like to include it inside this wall. So I could take this wall, this wall, and press the plus button. And then now became one wall. But they are still editable. The other one is still in there, and you can still change some of its properties. But it's one wall. And uh, actually, any, any kind of shape can become any kind of bin object. Uh, you could, for example, take um, a mesh file that comes from another program. For, for example, this is an object file that I just imported, and it's the monkey head from Blender. So you could take, this is a mesh object. If you go here, you see that it's a mesh. It's not a part, it's not a solid shape. So I must first convert it to a solid shape. And the part workbench has several tools to do that. So I uh, could create a shape from mesh. Just use the default. But this shape is not a solid yet. If you use the check geometry, it will tell you that there is no solid in it. So I must first, because all beam objects must be solid, that's the rule. And um, it makes sense because uh, all those beam objects will be built in the real world. They have to be solid because in the real world, all objects are solid. There is no object made of a sheet of paper. Um, or you couldn't remove a face from an object. And um, so we must first turn our shell object here into a solid. And uh, this tool here allows to do that pretty easily solid from shell, select our shape and create. Oops. create. Then we have the old one I will hide and the new one, if I check its geometry, and now it contains a solid, it is a solid. So now this can become a wall as well. So I'll go back to arc and I just select it and press the wall button. And now I have a new wall which has the shape of a monkey head. And it has all the same properties as any other wall in FreeCAD. I could move it and, for example, also include it in other objects. Like I could take this one, this one, and join them and I have now one wall that has strange monkey head shape in it. If you edit, if you double click any of those walls here uh, in the, the same goes for every arch object, 
um, you double click it here in the tree view then you can edit what's in, what's included inside it uh, I will remove this one now it's not included anymore so I could try for example to subtract it uh, you could you can include in any beam object or any shape object inside any beam object but you can also subtract anything so I could take here my monkey head and then my wall up there and subtract it and you see if I double click here that my wall is here in the subtractions so that's basically how beam objects works work in in FreeCAD you can just draw them simply by using the tool uh, the wall tool basically lets you draw draw from one point to another and the structure tool allows you to just place a structure you give it its dimension here or you can also use one of the presets for example these are uh, metallic uh, profiles put it here and it's based on profile if you look at it more closely I will hide it and you look at the object is based on and it's a simple 2D shape as well. You could draw this uh, and then make a, a structural object out of it. I could take my polyline tool and draw some kind of profile and then use this to build a metallic profile. Um, so it's pretty flexible. You can basically um, do these two kind of objects. Do do them from anything. You just draw a two D shape, and then apply one of these tools, um, and you get your your final object. Actually, um, most of the walls I do, I prefer to draw the line first myself, and then I turn this into a wall and you can choose how um, this uh, wall is aligned on its base wall uh, in this case I will put the, wall, the line in a different color so it's easier to see blue and make, let's make it thicker okay this is the wall and it's centered but you could align it any other face and you can of course um, get it, you can give it an offset as well and then it will be uh, further than the line um, and you have several other properties here that you can change um, so I guess let's not make it too long so that's it for today and um, yeah next time I will show more tools Okay, I hope you liked. Um, see you around. Bye.